Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. In this video, we are going to talk about heating in electrical conductor. The concept is if you have a conductor and if you put a voltage across the conductor, then there will be a current flow and due to the current flow, there will be an, an electrical heating which is commonly known as Joule heating. We will be trying to model that particular heating source term in the heat transfer equation uh, so that we can solve for the temperature profile. So this is the ultimate objective. This is very simple. You have to do a multi-physics coupling and I will demonstrate it in today's video. So we go to the model wizard. We take heat transfer in solids and electric current. So these two physics we have to take. So I click on add. So if I click, so those two physics have been added. Now I go to study and choose stationary study. So it will include my necessary physics. Those are again I'm telling heat transfer and electric current. So let me work in the domain of centimeter and I right click on geometry and putting a rectangle say the width of the rectangle is 10 and height is 1 centimeter. So this is how the conductor looks like and we have to put a material because electrical conductor we need to put some conducting material so i click on add material library and i look for copper here so after writing copper i pressed enter it will search for the right material so there are multiple material i'll be choosing any one of them which is suitable so let us choose copper solid polished so i choose that one so few properties are automatically not defined. I am not aware of those properties, but let me define some values like electrical permittivity. I put 1.2. Maybe it's wrong, but uh, it's okay for the time being. Electrical conductivity say 200 and thermal conductivity. I'm not sure say 10 and Again, I'm telling the values may be totally unrealistic. I'm just putting some values so that I can run the simulation. You can look for the original values and you can put those values. So now I right click on electric current and choosing the option electric potential at the left end. Let us put a potential of say 10 volt and again right clicking here and choosing the option ground yeah here is the ground option and keeping the right hand side ground so automatically other parts that is the top and bottom section that will be insulated it's a kind of copper ware so we have a cladding that is the insulation and in the left hand side we put certain voltage say 10 and in the right hand side we put certain voltage say 0 now those things are completely defined if you just look at the equation so this is the equation we are solving where divergence of j where j is the current vector or it's not current actually current density vector because current is not a vector and we have this potential electric field potential expressed by v and e is the electric field vector so now i go to heat transfer in heat transfer i just want to show you the equation we don't need to solve anything so this term is the convective term but in our case we don't have any flow because this is a solid conductor so basically this term is not there. The second term is the divergence of Q where Q is nothing but coming from the Fourier's law of heat transfer which is minus gradient of uh, proportional to the minus gradient of the temperature and we don't have those properties here. Uh, but what I need to do is I need to define somewhere that due to that current flow we are having a heat or a heat source and that heat source has to be added in the heat transfer equation so that we can calculate the effect of electrical heating in the wear that is coming in the equation so giving you a different temperature profile. So for that you need to go to multi physics right click here and click the option electromagnetic heating 
now if you go to the equation you can see the equation has changed we, we have added a qe term where qe is defined by j which is the current density vector dot product of e e is the electric field vector so these two vectors is giving the heat source and that heat source is now added in the heat transfer equation so these two things are now coupled this is what multiphysics coupling is in formsol multiphysics and this is very simple because all the things they have already defined we need to know which option to choose we need to be sure of the equations we are solving and also we need to be sure of the boundary conditions if we can be sure of all those things then the simulation will give you realistic results so i'll be just running the simulation clicking on compute okay uh, before that i need to do a better meshing so let me do that before i run this simulation so yeah i cancel the computation i need to do a better meshing it is normal let me choose extra fine i click on this is also not good uh, extremely fine this is not good but it's okay now i run the simulation yeah it will take some time let me just wait for some time until the simulation finishes yeah the simulation is almost over we'll be looking into the temperature profile and the potential electric field potential profile so some convergence issue but still we have some solution let's see that Uh, let me check uh, we might have defined some wrong physical properties but still there should be some solution because I can see the data has been stored so I right click click on surface put temperature uh, no it hasn't solved yet this is okay so let me change the physical properties and try once again okay so physical properties I can change randomly let me make this value little bit less I hope this will work now yeah it's running Uh, if it converges then only we will be having the solution so you can actually see if you have a wrong chosen properties then you can face problem your simulation may not run still it's not running so let me just pause the video and look for the original yeah there is some issue coming with the stationary solver I have added the time dependent solver so why the issue is coming I'll be making another video on it but today I'm just finishing this video with the time dependent solver so after taking time dependent solver if I click on compute then the simulation will run I can show you the effect of joule heating so that was the main purpose of this video but why the stationary solver is not running that I need to check and I'll do that so here you can see uh, this is the temperature profile so we have a temperature difference so if, if you can see this is 293.36 this is 293.73 so we have a temperature distribution and this thing is coming from this electromagnetic coupling or we can say the joule heating sometimes it is also said heating due to electrical conductivity heating due to electrical current so there are multiple method multiple terminologies which are used but ultimate thing is that we have to add this option and which we can do using simple multiphysics coupling so i hope 
this video was helpful if it is so then kindly share those videos and do subscribe to our channel so that we get more motivation to upload videos thank you